How do you keep the ball spinning? To get started answering that question, it's important to have correct form and posture when you are using your smart hula hoop. So Abby, what I'll have you do, you're gonna wanna put your feet about shoulder width apart, and the key here is you're gonna stand up straight while doing this. More or less, the motion is you're going to kind of go side to side in this sort of motion like this. Okay, so go ahead and try this and let's see how it works. All right, you're, you're kind of yeah. getting at a very slow pace there. So something that I'm noticing right away uh, with the spinning here is it does look like the hoop has kind of gotten a little diagonal on your body. So go ahead and you're gonna wanna push that backside down a little bit more. So just really give it a push down. And I want you to try it again. And like I said, really put your feet about shoulder width apart. They can even be a little bit further than shoulder width and really try to go side to side in that motion. So okay. go ahead and give it another spin. All right. Okay, there you go. It looks like you're doing it. Something else to think about if you're doing this, it is possible for your hoop to kind of just go up in the back like that uh, while you're practicing. So you may need to just be aware of that. And if that happens, just go ahead and correct it. You know, push the hoop down and then try to spin it again. Now, when doing the movements, I do recommend keeping a neutral spine. I don't recommend rocking from your shoulders. So, you know, rocking your shoulders downward and diagonal. Really try to isolate your shoulders as much as you can. They're likely going to move a little bit. Also, when you are using your smart hoop, please don't twist your body to get it to go around, especially if you have back problems. I just feel like doing repetitive twisting could be a problem for someone's back. So instead, what I recommend doing is really just focus going side to side and avoid doing that twisting motion to get the ball to spin around. Even if you use your smart hula hoop correctly, if you have issues with your back or you have some sort of health issue where doing the repetitive motion of hula hooping, if that's something that would harm yourself, then I do recommend that you go talk to a doctor first before using a smart hula hoop. Moving right along. Another smart hula hoop stance that you can try is the rocking back and forth stance. Now I know Abby, you're very familiar with this motion. So go ahead, put one foot in front of you. This is something else you can try too. If, if you're unable to get the side to side motion going, then give this a spin. So do the rocking back and forth. So basically Abby just has one foot in front of the other and she's just kind of, you know, rocking more or less from that core region. In this position, it can be easy to teeter sort of up and down and just rocking diagonal from your shoulders. You want to avoid doing that. If you find yourself teetering too much in this position and it's hard to maintain nice posture, then I recommend switching back to doing the shoulder width stance. If you enjoyed this video, then I recommend clicking here to watch my full length version featuring even more smart weighted hula hoop tips. And click right here to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. Until next time, enjoy.